All right, the A's with lead singer Richard Bush still out there playing with the Peace Creeps right now. And on the phone, coming to our studios, is the lead singer of Turning Violet Violet. It's Sarah Gullish. Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, no problem. Now, you guys have been pretty busy. You've got the uh, release party of your new CD, Double Cure, coming out tomorrow night. Where's that going to be? Yeah, that's at Kung Fu Necktie in the Fishtown neighborhood of the city. Ah, oh, Fishtown. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about the CD. Uh, when did you get things wrapped up on that? Um, we recorded it in March. We had been writing the songs throughout last year and a little bit into this year um, and really recorded it in about 10 days. Oh, okay. We did all of the recording and mixing. It was a really fast process and then um, then it was done and wrapped up. Well, I'll tell you what, a we've bit been, of a whirlwind. Yeah, we've been playing it a lot here this week since we got our hands on it and uh, boy, it Thank is you. just it's spectacular stuff. I mean, you know, Thank you so much. Your first CD w- uh, with Pink Sky was really really good. This, you guys kicked it up a notch on this one. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that really is to credit um, Minor Street Studios where we recorded it and John Lowe and Brian McTerr. They just they're fantastic at what they do and Um, They had a vision for our sound, and I think that helped a lot. Okay. And now you've uh, also added a new bass player. You lost your first bass player from uh, the first CD, and how does that work? Who is that, and how is it working out? Our new bass player, his name's Eric, Mm -hmm. and we've actually known him for a long time. He played with a good friend of ours, Josh Schur, who's another Philly musician. Okay, yeah. And um, Sarah and Jeff, who are interning Violet Violet, have played with him as well. Okay. We've shared the stage with him before. We know him really well. And when Steve, our old bass player, told us he was no longer able to play with us, um, Eric was the first person who came to mind, and he was on board from the beginning. So it's been really great. Okay. Well, now listen. Uh, help our listeners understand exactly you know what style Turning Violet Violet is. You know, tell us a little bit about the band and what some of your influences are. Style is such a hard question. I always have the hardest <laughs> time with that. We, as individuals, have such diverse influences, and that's um, what I think makes it so difficult. Uh, Eric, for example, is a metal bass right. player. Mm-hmm. He's played mostly in metal bands before turning Violet Violet. Um, Sarah and I have a classical background. Brandon uh, Brandon has like a punk background, right. and Jeff is into Brit rock. So. <laughs> Yeah. We, we have a lot of different influences, but I think um, we look to bands that have male-female singers, um, some orchestral instrumentation like Arcade right. Fire. Oh, yeah. Um, Definitely hear sound. that. Definitely hear that, you know, as an influence in your music. That's really, really yeah. entertaining. Yeah. So somewhere along those lines, <laughs> messing <laughs> different influences together, you know, having the acoustic and electric instruments. Yeah, it's really, really interesting stuff, and it's just really good. As I said, I mean, the new CD is just absolutely incredible, and we're going to play a block of it when we get done the interview. Uh, But we've had a lot of great response here at the station, a lot of people asking where they can get it, and we've been passing that link along, and we'll have it up on our Facebook page again later on today. Well, now, Sarah, tell tell me a little bit about uh, what's in store for the band here coming up with uh, Playing Live. Yeah, we're... So we're playing our release show tomorrow, Mm -hmm. and then um, we'll take a few weeks off. And then in June, we're touring a bit. I think we have about eight dates out of town, Um, and then we'll be doing a little bit more of that in August. So we're just trying to play as much as we can, uh, mostly along the East Coast. Yeah, now reading the record and reading some of the uh, stories that have come out in the local Philadelphia publications, uh, you guys really, really tightened your live act up uh, prior to going into the studio. So I guess you guys are really itching to get back out there and playing on a regular basis. We are. It's so different playing live and working um, on the recording process, and both are amazing and both have their benefits. And um, so we've just been in that recording mindset for so long and writing and prepping the album. And the last show, we played in New York last weekend, and it was just so fun to be on stage again. So we're really looking forward to tomorrow and playing more in June. Yeah, you've definitely uh, made your uh, travels up and down the East Coast, too. Do you have any uh, shows out of state planned anytime soon? Yeah, um, well, we're doing um, a block of uh, dates west 
So we'll play throughout Pennsylvania, Western PA, and then okay. go into Ohio. Um, and then we're also going through Baltimore and D.C. and Delaware in June as well. Okay, great. Now, let's talk a little bit about you and your background. You said you have a classical background, and uh, are you still teaching? I am teaching. I took um, <laughs> this past year. I've actually been at Temple. I'm working on a PhD. Okay. So that's been my that's been my time this past year. But I do teach high school music, and I'm going back to that in the fall. Oh, that's outstanding. You know, yeah. So okay, are the students all fired up about the new CD? Um, <laughs> those that know about it are. <laughs> yeah, it's been great, and I teach. I've taught at um, Temple this past year I taught a couple undergraduate classes and a lot of them are musicians and playing bands and we've been sharing music and it's mm -hmm. been really great Okay, um, sharing that with the students. Outstanding. Well now of course you have your husband in the band with you there so how's everything working out with that? You know during the recording process where you know, basically you're in the studio then you're going home together or you're you know at each other or was that a real smooth process for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I mean and from talking to other people who have a similar situation, when you are in a creative endeavor with a spouse, mm -hmm. you have to have some separation between um, the band and just being married. And it's hard because when we're excited about it, it's all we want to talk about. Right. And we want to live and breathe it. And of course, we're two different people, so we don't agree on everything. But um, I think generally there's a good balance within the group so that anytime we have to have a hard conversation or we're disagreeing about just the personal preference, it happens right. as a group. Okay. So um, he and I, usually when it's just the two of us, we're just talking about how excited we are, you know, coming up with crazy schemes and that right. sort of thing. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Well, listen, Sarah, thank you so much. For, uh, taking the time to talk to us here at uh, 1370 The Buzz. You know, we absolutely love the new CD. We're going to keep playing it. And, you know, we're just, you know, we think there's going to be big, big things in store for turning Violet Violet. Thank you. And I mean, without local support, we can't do this at all. So we really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. And you know what? We're, I'm going to give you a call probably a little bit later on here. And uh, I definitely need to talk to you about trying to get you guys booked up here in the Tri County area. Yeah, we would love it. That yeah, absolutely. Great. All right, Sal, we're going to get uh, into some music here. Again, thanks so much for joining us. Sure, have a great day. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, and again, that is uh, Sarah Gullish, the lead singer of Turning Violet Violet, and it is a black party here on 1370 The Buzz. So you know what? Why not break out some Turning Violet Violet? This is off of Double Cure, the new CD from Turning Violet Violet. Here's a block of them.